Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, one of the most important dates in the month of Muharram is the 25th of Muharram, which is the Shahadat and the martyrdom of Imam Zainul Abidin al -Islam. You can imagine that because he was so directly connected to, to Ashura and Muharram and Imam Hussain al -Islam, that Allah um, you know, gave him the same month for his Shahadat. So he uh, was poisoned by Hisham Abdul Malik and he uh, in, in Medina and he's buried in, in uh, Jannat al-Baqi with his uncle Imam Hassan al -Islam, and his son Imam Baqir and Imam Sajjad al-Islam his grandson. Now Imam Sajjad al-Islam um, saw many many atrocities. He was born in 37 Hijrah in the time of the rule uh, uh, government of his own grandfather Imam Ali al-Islam and he uh, was brought up by his father and his grandfather, his son Imam uh, Baqir al-Salam was also three and a half years old in Karbala. So the most important narrators of the reporters of Karbala, the events of Karbala, uh, were the, the two Imams, Imam Zainab al-Islam and Imam Baqir al-Islam. Imam Sajjad then went from Karbala to, uh, to Kufa and to Damascus and he saw all the atrocities and on the way, uh, the things that he saw, he explained. And he did not stop crying for the rest of his life. From 61 Hijrah till 95 Hijrah when he died, he cried continuously all of his life but it wasn't uh, just crying it was a purposeful purposeful meaning it was he cried in such a way that people used to ask him why are you crying and then he would say i'm crying because the grandson of the prophet وسلم, was killed uh, thirsty he wasn't even given water so he would cry in such a way that people would the people were forced to ask how much will you cry? How long will you cry for? And he would say that you have not done justice. Yaqub had 12 sons. He lost one son who was not even dead. He knew as a prophet that this son has gone to, to Egypt. And uh, uh, he cried so much that he lost his sight. He cried so much that he lost his sight. And he said that I lost 18 young men who had no uh, parallel, no equal to them, and I lost them all in one day, likes of Abbas and Ali Akbar, and my father Hussein ibn Ali, the, the greatest shaheed. So, you have not done justice to me, that why do I cry so much? So, they said, uh, uh, But Shahadat is your uh, inheritance, it is a part of your life. He said, Yes, that is true. Martyrdom is something that we do not escape from, and it is our uh, honor. and uh, uh, our pride, but he said uh, going into the streets of uh, Kufa and Damascus with and your closest relatives, the daughters of Ali and Fatima alayhi salam, my aunts, my mothers and my sisters, that is not something that we inherit. That is not something that we have ever faced and we have not witnessed anything like this. That's why I cry so much. Uh, so they asked him, where did you see the most problems? He said, Asham, Asham. Asham. Three times he repeated the word Sham, meaning Syria. In Damascus, I saw the most difficult time. So Imam Sajjad al-Islam is the, the greatest witness of the atrocities carried out against the children of and the grandchildren of the Holy Prophet. Thank you for listening.